Uh, let's now go across uh, to our special guest on the program. Uh, let's just uh, go across to Adi Godridge, the chairman of the Godridge Group. Thanks very much, sir, uh, for speaking to us. Up first, even as we talk, that powerful GST council is meeting, sir, at Good present. Hi, we're just, uh, even as we talk, sir, the powerful GST Council is meeting at present and we're expecting uh, some changes. The Prime Minister has spoken about glitches and how that will be reversed. What are the changes that you would like to see, sir, if any? Well, there are a lot of small things that need to be attended to. Uh, there are a lot of uh, IT difficulties. There are a lot of refund difficulties. So they need to be attended to. But overall, in my opinion, GST is going well. Mm. And it will add a lot of GDP growth mm. to our economy going forward. Okay, sir. Uh, thanks for that. But uh, there's also, of course, the focus on we are in the festive season and the impact of GST on festive sales. Uh, do you believe, uh, you know, from understanding from your experience, is there any impact on festive sales? Is it better or worse than last year, just the same? We haven't noticed any difference. Okay, okay, that's interesting. Uh, so, you know, you, uh, what is your understanding really of the slowdown as it's being called? Is it technical, as uh, the BJP president has said, or are there uh, sort of uh, structural challenges to it, as Surjit Bhalla and others have argued? Well, I don't believe there has been a slowdown. I think we must understand that people are commenting basically on the April-June GDP growth figures, which were a low 5.7%. That was mainly because the growth in June was low. Mm -hmm. I think April and May was not bad. Mm -hmm. June was low because it was the month preceding the introduction of GST. Mm -hmm. And in GST, on many manufactured goods, mm -hmm. the new GST rates were lower than the earlier combined excise and VAT rates. Mm -hmm. So therefore, People were down stocking, mm -hmm. people were not clearing their goods from manufacturing units because of the higher taxes earlier. Mm -hmm. Post that, I think things have gone well. Mm -hmm. And I can only say that our companies have fared well in the July September period. And I expect the second half will go very well. So I think there is an exaggeration based on what happened in June. Okay. And I think it will get sorted out, but of course. The GST Council needs to attend to every little item mm. that has caused disruption. Okay, sir, you know, but the, the, um, I, I, I hear what you're saying. You're saying that this is, of course, we're just looking at June and you expect uh, this to sort of like settle down. You expect July to be uh, and all of that. But uh, some are saying that the slowdown and even as the debate rages that, you know, how the unorganized sector is something that we're not even considering. So that the fact that the slowdown is actually worse or, you know, is, is sort of worse than it is being stated now, even though you think it's an exaggeration. At the same time, the World Bank today has said that all this talk about India's uh, slowdown is an aberration. That's right. As I mentioned to you, people are too concerned about what happened in June, mm -hmm. which is not the case in July. If you look at the collections of GST in July and August, they were good. They were more than one twelfth in each month mm -hmm. than the annual prediction. Mm -hmm. So I think the collection has also been good. Mm -hmm. Despite that, there are some issues. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> the IT issues are important. Mm -hmm. They need to be sorted out. I think the government is attending to it. Today also there is a meeting to review many of the issues. I think by evening we will hear of the announcements. Mm -hmm. So I'm not at all as pessimistic as some spokespersons have been. Okay. And I'm quite optimistic about the future. Okay. I think the second half will do very well in the country. Okay, pessimists, uh, of course, what the Prime Minister used. I was going to ask you on that note that what did you make of the Prime Minister's speech, sir? Do you believe the government is uh, doing enough? The Prime Minister, of course, two days ago joined this entire debate uh, uh, surrounding the economy. I think he made a good speech. Mm -hmm. I think it was very appropriate that he spoke about the subject. There have been exaggerations in some quarters. Mm -hmm. which do not understand business too well. Mm -hmm. And there have been some dislocations, as I told you, especially the IT-related dislocations. They need to be attended to. But I think the Prime Minister's speech was appropriate. Mm -hmm. It was important. And I think 
the criticism based on the June GDP growth rate has been a little exaggerated because that has changed considerably since then. And as I mentioned to you, I'm very optimistic about the future. Okay, so one last question. Now, you know, the RBI talking about its forecast for quarter four, I said 7.7% growth, a big question marks. And that's, of course, that's another debate. Do you believe that that is realistic? What would be your estimate? Yes, well, I, I don't want to predict a particular quarter's GDP growth. Okay. But I think the GDP growth will improve very considerably. Mm -hmm. GST by itself will create strong growth. So I am, uh, as I mentioned, I believe growth will be good. Okay. All I want to say is that the RBI should seriously look at cutting interest rates because real interest rates have become quite high in the country. Okay. And that will come in the way of manufacturing growth in the future. Okay. Adi Goldrich, thanks very much as always for your time, sir. So optimistic there, uh, the economy and believe that things will get back. Good talking to you. Thank you. Thank you very much.